If you live here in the central Okanagan or you're thinking about making a move to Kelowna, then you've come to the right channel. Welcome to Live Love Kelowna. Alright, on today's video, we are going to review the real estate market for Kelowna and surrounding area. Now, it is mid-November 2022, and I can confidently say that the, that the sky is definitely not falling. So, what is going on in our local real estate market? Well, I'm going to get into that, but first, we're going to go over just a few generic numbers and before we get into what all of this actually means. All right, so as you can see in this graphic, there are 2,182 listings right now in the MLS for the Central Okanagan, which includes Big White, West Kelowna, Peachland, Ellison Fintry, and Lake Country. Now, the average days on market is quite a bit higher than it was last year, but we are also within what we would call a normal market with the average days on market sitting at 42. All right, the total number of sales this year to date is sitting at 4,765. Lastly, the benchmark price, which is in this graphic, is an average of the three different property types that are out there, the single family, apartment condo slash strata, as well as townhouses. So the average of these three is sitting at $757,000. All right, now let's get into pricing. I'm gonna point out the pricing differences for each property segment by looking at third quarter numbers and then looking back 12 months. Okay, first up is single family home benchmark pricing, which is sitting at $981,800 for Q3 of 2022. Now, if we look back 12 months, the benchmark pricing is sitting pretty close to where it is today, only slightly higher uh, 12 months ago is $982,400. Now the townhouse benchmark price is sitting today at $771,000 where 12 months ago it was $709,000 which is about an 8% increase year over year. So you would think for a market that's supposed to be tanking, this property segment seems to be pretty resilient. Lastly, the apartment condo benchmark price in Q3 was $519,000 where last year was $478,100 which is again about an 8% increase. Now, numbers are just so easy to manipulate, and I could just leave that here, and you'd think to yourself, man, it doesn't seem like there's any sort of a pattern here. What is he even talking about? It seems like the market is going up and up in every single property segment. And if you were looking at just those numbers, you would absolutely be right. So let's dig a little bit deeper and figure out what is actually truly happening in the market. Now, the benchmark price for single family homes in, in Q1 of this year was $1.152 million. In the second quarter, it was $1.06 million. And the Q3 report, which was just released, has the benchmark price for single family homes in the central Okanagan in at $981,800. Now this is a difference over the course of the year of about 17.4% from 1.152 down to $982,000. Now the year isn't over yet, so let's look at the October numbers which are about 1.5% higher than the end of Q3. So overall we're down about 15.9% in the single family benchmark pricing picture. It's getting clearer now, isn't it? All right, in October, the benchmark price for apartment style condos was down to $490,000, which is a drop of 5.5% from where things were at the end of Q3. The first quarter pricing was at $552,900, and the second quarter had a benchmark price of $522,000. So if we look at this quarter by quarter, you can start to see the pattern that as sales continue to slide, so do the price points. From Q1 to Q3, there has been about a 6.6% .6 slide in pricing, and this segment is also down about 38% in sales. All right, lastly, let's look at the townhouses in, central, in the central Okanagan. The townhouse benchmark price at the end of Q1 was $801,300. At the end of the second quarter, it was $783,500, which is a difference of 2.3%. The benchmark price at the end of Q3, as mentioned earlier, was $770,100, which is a drop of 4% overall. So if we go back 12 months to that benchmark price for townhouses, it made it look like there was a major Major jump in price which there was but it doesn't tell the whole story it looks a little different when we actually start to compare real numbers versus the year-over-year -year statistics doesn't it so where is the market going well I feel that the average days on market is only going to increase and here's why 
sellers have yet to get a realistic point of view on the market. We will see more price reductions and ultimately we'll see a lot of listings expire because the pricing strategy that they are using is based on data that is upwards of six months old. We have to look at the numbers in the here and now and potentially future pace those numbers so that we can look at the prices in the context of where we know the market is going to be and not where it was. All right, second, as you can see, prices are softening in all segments of the market. Some of this may be attributed to the time of year, a very small correction in there due to the smaller number of sales in Q4. But that being said, we have seen a trend that has formed over all three quarters of 2022. Prices are correcting. I think the big question is, will housing prices continue to drop? I think we've we've probably seen the bottom of the real estate market for for 2022 here in November. However, what happens in 2023 will really be determined by a number of factors, uh, as, such as job numbers, interest rates, inflation, geopolitical goings on, and of course our own political happenings here domestically. Like, for example, will there be a provincial and or federal election in the new year? All of these factors will affect the housing market. Housing demand and supply here in the Okanagan will determine if the market continues to correct or if it settles out in balanced market territory. The trend that I've laid out is that the market is correcting. That being said, I don't believe we are going to see any, any more large price drops before the end of the year. Sales are going to continue to slow as they always do at this time of year, but prices likely won't follow. All right, that's all I got for you. My crystal ball is a little bit cloudy these days, but getting clearer and clearer. Now, watch for a video coming in the new year where, where I will review the 2022 data. For right now, though, if you're looking for more detailed information about your community here in Kelowna and the surrounding areas like Lake Country or West Kelowna, then feel free to reach out and get in touch. Now, if you're thinking about buying your first home, relocating to Kelowna or selling your current one and want to chat about how we can help, then feel free to shoot me an email, kelly at kellyscar.com, or you can simply give me a call at 778-716-7527. We'll see you in the next video.